my grandfather and my father and all my uncles and all and everybody that's all we do is the most important thing is the hunting and the fishing lake champlain has a very good population of northern pike and they are quite abundant specifically up in the northern part of the lake around the champlain islands where we are here Vermont has a fairly unique season that allows people to spear or even shoot pike uh, for a short period of time in the spring. See, and I didn't like the heading. I said shooting fish like shooting in a barrel. Well, it wasn't quite that easy. It's not that easy. This is a very good story, and it, and it was written by uh, Rochelle Gardner, which is a girl. Vermont recognized maple syrup season, lambing season, foliage season, and mud season, ski season, and hunting season. Along with these seasons come strong value traditions. One of these traditions is the sport of pickerel shooting and spearing. I still have my grandfather's handmade spear. That's my spear. Went to a blacksmith, it used to be three, four in a town here and they used to make these spears. Good material, so you don't, it's stiff. Well, actually these are all heliarched, made out of all stainless steel piping and solid stock stainless. And then we heliark the, the tines on. We uh, make them for everybody and then we just give them away so everybody else can enjoy the sport too. Where we're gonna go where the platform is, it isn't as nice as it used to be but we can still spear. Well, you'll find tonight when you come down, there'll be a guy down there spearing. The rest of them will be up here in the road. Where did you learn how to do this? My father. And did he enjoy doing this? He loved to spear fish. At night, they're right on the bottom. I mean, they don't go very far. I've never seen many zip through it. That's why you're staying over a culvert or a crossing, and you look down, as you're looking down, you can see them right on the bottom. Can you see bottom? No, not really. No. We just get the skin to get the lid. So Larry, you see anything? Huh? No? Get him? No, I don't think so. I don't think he went really the top. There he is. Yeah. You were right on him. You got him, baby. Oh, whoa. Whoa, that's a good one. Yeah, it's not that big, but it's not catch and release, so. Ooh, we got away right there. Get him? That's a good one. Good job. All right. That's over 20. It's probably 24. Shooting from the hip here. About that. 33 and a half. Hey, we just actually just saw a shadow and we said it looked kind of like a fish shadow. It so. was just a dark spot in the corner there on the, above the mud. Everything I've taken, I've eaten. You fillet them and then put them in the oven with shake and bake and bake them. See that line right there? That's uh, where the uh, Y bones come up through. So you need to cut that out once you get the fillet off. When you get home with this thing, <laughs> when every time you bite into a bone, don't swear at me. <laughs> Northern pike is the biggest and one of the best tasting fish and one of the most biggest fish in the lake and it's one of the most fun to catch. You caught it because it's a memory of the time that you lived in. It's all about the time of your life when you were at that age. And it's like a rock and roll song. Well, my grandfather gave it to me on his dying bed. It's an old 3030 Savage, model uh, 340. And it's got tape on the stock holes together where he beat something over the head to finish it off or something. 
I load up special rounds out of 308 military steel jacket bullets. I grind them down on a grinder and then I load them into 30-30 uh, casings so they'll fit in my gun and I get a lot of concussion. Right there. She's looking for male fish to spawn with. There's probably a thousand northern pike in this little, what is it, a five acre marsh? And that's just one of the 300 marshes in the islands. They all come into the marshes and then they group up. They, they find each other and that's when they're all up. There he comes in. There he is. Hold on. You don't actually shoot the fish. When you're picker shooting, you shoot under the fish, and the concussion will bring the fish up. See, there's no bullet holes in them. I shot underneath her. You're not actually shooting the fish, because if you shot the fish with a 150 grain bullet, you're not gonna have nothing left. I'm just gonna the squeeze her and milk the eggs out. Thousands and thousands of them. And a, a male fish will find that and milk on it. That's about all I can get out of her. This is where we lived, and this is what we had. If I'd have been born on a trout stream, I'd have been a trout fisherman. Let the young ones do it now. <laughs> That's how you haul them around. When you're coming out of the swamp. It's a real exciting sport and it's a dying breed and and I don't know. I just don't want to even think about not doing it.